Okay, this is the very first generation bridge we ever built. It happens to be in Fort Leonard Wood, uh, Missouri. It's uh, a bridge that is using steel I-beams to support it. And everything above the steel happens to be our recycled lumber. I use the term guardedly because we really prefer to say engineered composites. That's a lot of syllables. And one thing to keep in mind when you think about recycled plastic lumber, most people are familiar with lumber that has over 50% wood fiber in it, and the rest of it could be low density or high density plastic. A great recycling concept, but one that has challenges because you can't use it structurally, and it will effectively start to decay based on the freeze-thaw uh, cycle. Just for unique purposes of identifying what actually went into this, um, I am reminded that this bridge did consume 78,000 one-gallon mixed jugs, high-density polyethylene. And then, if you will, uh, densified styrofoam coffee cups. This is uh, a test track at Pueblo, Colorado. The globally recognized technology test center exists in Pueblo, Colorado. It is managed by the American Association of Railroads. And our ties are illustrated in this picture. And I think if it clicks through, uh, yes. We have had ties there of this particular formulation because as I may have indicated before, we have five different formulations. The formulation that's been in Pueblo has been in there installed since May of 1997. When those ties were originally manufactured, they were manufactured by a different licensee of Rutgers. That licensee has lost that opportunity to sustain that patent. Axion now controls that patent. 1.5 billion gross tons. Hard number to consider. What does it mean? It means something important to the railroads because this represents tonnage and tonnage is something that they can identify based on their track work. So they can tell you that that number is pretty impressive because that means that's 15 years of life somewhere along their system. It could be 40 years of life somewhere along their system depending upon what they're actually transporting. This is the second generation bridge. This was in the Warden State Forest. This happens to be in the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. This bridge is actually incorporating a slightly different design of major consequence because this is where the original I-beam patent pending formulation was discovered in terms of our ability to commercialize it, and it, it's part of this entire construction. Just an example, everybody seen our marine pilot? We can do a marine pilot. Uh, this is how we address ourselves when we talk to potential investors. That's not your case. I do want to make a quick observation. We think that there could be potential benefits to carbon credits, but again, it's not something that you ever monetize and it's not something you ever put a number on, but we think the world probably is going to become much more aggressive in this area. Um, that's us. You don't need to know this any more than to say our symbol is AXIH. We are a reporting company on the NASDAQ bulletin board. And let's get on with this. We don't need to sell that. And I think the the most interesting feature of our business model that we were able to sell to our investors was that we have an outsourcing manufacturing model. Rather than try to raise 15 or 20 million dollars, we've effectively accomplished what we have so far on less than 3 million. By using an outsourcing manufacturing model, we've been able to take advantage of, of facilities in the United States who have excess capacity. Our current manufacturers exist in Portland, Pennsylvania, which happens to be just across the Delaware River on Route 80, and there is another manufacturing partner in Indiana who assists us in extruding some of our